Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we will understand the concept of co-integration and how to run Granger causality test in R. As per Clive, William John Granger, we can work on non-stationary time series provided that they are co-integrated. In this slide, we can see the price of commodity A and price of commodity B are moving together. So this is the sign of the co-integrated series. Now let's take the definition of it. If two series are integrated at the same level and if the linear combination is stationary, then two series are co-integrated. Co-integration is also known as co-trending and co-moving. It means we have to remember two points in co-integration. Both the series should be integrated at the same level. And the second point is that linear combination should be stationary. What is the difference between correlation and co-integration? The first number of time series. Correlation shows a linear association between the two time series. The number of series cannot be more than two. Whereas while examining the co-integration, the number of series can be two or more than two as well. Second, understanding of stationary concept. In order to be co-integrated, all the time series should be integrated of the same order. As per Angel Granger 1987. However, autoregressive and distributed lag models can be used to examine the co-integration between stationary and non-stationary variables. However, there is no need to learn the concept of stationarity while examining the correlation between the two time series. Measurement of the matrix. The coefficient of correlation may range from negative one to the positive one, which implies that the correlation in its direction can be quantified. On the contrary, there is no range for the co-integration matrix, which implies that we cannot quantify the co-integration relationship or its magnitude. We can only identify the existence of the co-integration such as two or more series are co-integrated or not. Period of interest. Correlation should be used for the short run or the long run analysis, but co-integration is a concept used for the long run only. Minimum number of observations. Co-integration analysis requires at least 20 or more observations, as used in some research papers. However, correlation can be used for any number of observations, no restriction of minimum 20 observations in the sample. Time series, is it a method or not? Time series method or not? Correlation is a property of number of observation. It could be the time series or cross sections. But co-integration applies on time series only, not on cross-sectional observations. Level of analysis. When we talk about financial time series, we talk about the correlation between the log returns, not the price level. But when we talk about the co-integration, it is always the price at levels, log prices, not the returns. Remember, two correlated time series can be co-integrated or not co-integrated. Two co-integrated time series can be correlated or not correlated. Angel and Granger 1987 further formalized this concept by introducing a very simple test for the existence of co-integrating that is long run equilibrium relationships. In order to understand this approach which is often called the EG approach consider the following two series XT and YT and the following cases. The first one if YT is integrated of the order 0 that's a base and XT is integrated of the order 1 then every linear combination of those two series, that is theta1 yt plus theta2 xt, will result in a series that will be always i1 or non-stationary. This will happen because the behavior of the non-stationary i1 series will dominate the behavior of the i0. So this will dominate. The second case, if we have both xt and yt are i1, then in general, any linear combination of the two series, say theta1 yt plus theta2 xt will also be i1. So this is an example of xt and yt are co-integrated of the order 1, 1. The existence of co-integration implies that the Granger causality must exist in at least one direction between the variables of the system. Properties of the co-integrated series. Series have a common trends. Series can be represented as one having moving average MA that exists an equilibrium model. Let's try to understand the co-integration in this table. If X, this is X, 
your independent variable and y is a dependent variable. If x and y both are integrated of level 0, we can run the normal OLS. If x and y both are integrated of, or of level 1, that level 1, co-integration is possible among them. If error terms are stationary, then we can say that the co-integration is confirmed. Now let's talk about this one. X is integrated of level 2. Y is integrated of level 2. So co-integration is possible. But if the error terms are also stationary, we can say that the co-integration is confirmed. Now if X is integrated of level 1 and Y is integrated of level 2, co-integration not possible. Similarly, for I0 and I1, co-integration not possible. Methods for testing co-integration are angel Granger two-step method, Johansson test, and the last one is Philips, Philips Olerist co-integration test. Now, let's see how we can do this in R. So for this, we'll go in R. The first thing we'll have to do is import the data set. So click on environment, import the data set from Excel. The name of the data set is data returns. So click here, open. So in the first column, we are having date, Sensex, Nifty, Comdex, Metal, Energy and Agriculture. Press import. To run any analysis in R, we have to create the scripts. This can be done from here. Activate the R script. I have already done this, so I'll start running the script. Attach the data returns. So this is the name of the data set, and we start with attach data returns. Any command in R, you can run with the help of run tab or by pressing control plus enter, run. To run Granger test, it is necessary that we require the LM test package, go in tools, install packages. Make sure your internet connection is on. Press LM test, install it, activate, run the library, library LM test, run. Now our hypothesis is, what is our null hypothesis? Nifty does not Granger cause energy. This means, see, Nifty does not Granger cause energy. This and this. The alternative is Nifty Granger cause the en energy. Let's run this test. So Granger test, round bracket, Nifty tilde energy, order two, that is check for two legs, run and see the p-value. This is our p-value. So as the p-value is 0.3746, which is more than 0 0.05. So we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that Nifty does not Granger cause energy. Now let's, now let's check, does energy cause Nifty or not? So the null hypothesis, null hypothesis is energy does not Granger cause Nifty. Alternative hypothesis, energy Granger cause Nifty. The command is Granger test, round bracket, energy, tilde, Nifty, comma, order to run, see the p-value. Now we'll write the interpretation as the p-value is 0.1316, which is more than 0 0.05. So we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that Nifty does not Granger cause energy. So this was all about the concept of co-integration and running Granger causality test in R. For more videos on econometrics using R, kindly subscribe my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded the videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias, link given in the description box.